Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So, because we, ha or we, I guess I have introduced my other OC's, I guess, proper name to you guys via the sketchbook tour and the first page of the new sketchbook, I thought it would be fun that if we could revisit kind of like redrawing or redesigning my OC's outfit. So I've already done this for Koji before. Here we go. I've done this with Sato and I've done this for Masaki as well, but you guys can already probably already already seen before. So I thought it'd be fun to do one for Akemi. So the thing with his fashion sense, I feel like because I lack the knowledge of just male outfits in general, I know a lot of you guys suggested me to look at K-pop idol outfits like airport fashion and stuff because I like Seventeen a lot. I wanted to see if I could design outfits for Akemi because I feel like my taste and aesthetic would be similar to Akemi's and Maseki's if they were merged. But I feel like color-wise, Maseki and Akemi would kind of have different color palettes because Akemi kind of has a mixture of really dark and then kind of like pops of light color. While Maseki kind of has this more mid-tone to light tone, more spring vibes. And I feel like Akemi kind of fits winter and fall. So let's see what we can do with playing around with colors. Um, and I feel like he wears a little bit more of like formal wear if that makes sense or something with a little bit more form-fitting cut compared to Maseki who kind of wears a little bit more baggier a little bit more comfortable free-flowing kind of clothing so I haven't drawn him all that much but hopefully with this it'll kind of help me draw him a little bit more so let's do kind of like more of a full waist up body kind of thing right here and we can try to do his normal outfit or what I would consider um, his normal outfit and then we can kind of expand and go from there. I'll do maybe some different hairstyles too. We'll see. Okay, so let's get Akemi kind of just in here. I feel like sometimes because I don't draw him that often, I'm gonna struggle just drawing him in general. So both Akemi and Masaki, I would think have similar builds. I would think Akemi is just a little bit uh, more like thinner, a little bit more lean than Masaki. See how can I do this? I don't have a ow, I don't have a pose in mind, so I'm not too sure if there's a specific way I want to draw him. Now I always think of Akemi kind of either as maybe a design student or a business student, kind of leaning towards those two for what kind of field he's in. I don't know. I don't put a lot of background uh, story into the characters. And I'm pretty sure for these doodles, I did kind of my derp style. So very simple eyes. Akemi has a bit of more flat eye shape compared to my other OCs. Now, I was kind of wary of doing this because I didn't want him to look like uh, too... How do I put it? like not impressed but I feel like kind of like the deadpan look kind of fits him a little bit more so similar to Masaki he does wear a turtleneck um, but his is much like thinner more skin tight while Masaki kind of has like that really bulky kind of turtleneck tucked in so I would usually have him in some high-waisted pants. I think last time I tried giving Masaki like high-waisted pants. It just made his torso look really short. Navy and orange color scheme, which is similar to uh, Sato's a little bit. Sato's more of a peach and a dark teal or dark turquoise. I guess your shirt collar wouldn't be that large. Earrings. He has two X earrings. Kind of right here. And right here. And this one is a dangling earring. Now, I have it kind of like... 
I don't know if couple things are like cringy, but I thought it'd be kind of cute if him and Sato had like shared earrings or something. So like he has the other dangling one. Give him glasses really quick. I think part of me also just wanted no see with glasses. Cause no, <laughs> I have a thing for glasses on characters. Cause I think they look really cute. But I've never really had an OC with glasses since like middle school, I feel like. And his hair. Um, I took a little bit of inspiration from like Ignatz from Fire Emblem and I don't remember his name. Is his name Vincent or Victor? He's like Marius's assistant in Tears of Themis. Let me see if I can see if I can find him on here. Oh, if I'll put a picture on the screen, but he, this is what he looks like. I think he looks super cute. He kind of has the choppier bangs as well. I think he's cute. This is have his hair kind of parted. I actually don't remember where he left off. Okay, but let's finish off Akemi's normal kind of attire here. Let's put his hand in the fist. So we can kind of... So I think for his outfit, I usually have him kind of with half sleeves or... So like free course sleeve? I think it's closer to almost Masaki's length. I feel like this would be a little bit larger. So I'm keeping this as a sketch, I don't mind being a little bit messy, but um, I'm gonna try to shade a little bit because I don't remember if I added very much shading to any of them. But I feel like he would have a belt and then you can droop down the shirt a bit more so it's kind of overlapping. I think he'd be the type to more or less tuck in his shirt. Okay, let's fix his hair. I think I was working on his hair when I uh, got distracted. So I did give him more choppier bangs. And then for his other side... I was thinking that we can make this kind of like feeling like it's a little bit more shaved and then we have his hair kind of tucked in behind okay so what i'm going to do uh no i think did i color them after one another i think i did right so let's sketch a few more into here I need to think of how I want to style Akemi though. <laughs> the thing is, is like, turtleneck with blazers, I think, fit him quite well. Do another version right here. So you think a bit of posing before we can even Give him some clothes. Okay, we can kind of fit a smaller one down here. I'm just gonna get the general gist. So maybe a little bit higher of turtleneck. We can do kind of like blazer. Kind of longer sleeves on him. Cause I feel like, yeah, he would have more of like a fitted outfit. Let's put his hand here. Cause I feel like he would be the type to really wear more like high-waisted <laughs> pants. Pants. I'm not really worried about proportions right now. I kind of just want to make the fit. <laughs> we can plan out color schemes and stuff too. Maybe it's not a blazer, maybe it's somewhere like a peacoat situation here. Okay, 
So personality-wise, I feel like he wouldn't be really into fashion. Maybe until he meets Sato. We'll do some extra doodles where... Not extra doodles, some other doodles where we can kind of style his hair a little bit differently. Quick specs. I just think the round glasses look very cute. Tuck his hair behind and then color this in to make it darker. I'll do a more derpier one here. So I think I tend to do a couple derpy ones per little page. So I'm going to be using page assist as usual. So we can kind of treat each individual page kind of like a sketchbook page where you can just kind of like fill it up, do a different spread. I feel like you want to have those thinner scarves. This is a fun way to kind of shorthand your own characters. Let's draw them a lot quicker so you can see what features. Little dapper dude. I kind of do want to do a little sketch of him in a suit or something I think would be quite cute. Okay, so I'm gonna make this into Kind of like a sketch page or sketch book-esque type thing by turning on page assist. So we're gonna make a new page. So every new layer makes a new page. Every new group you can kind of make it into one page. So let's keep sketching so we can kind of style his hair as well. So let's do more of a at least a waist up. Then we'll do maybe one casual one. I'm thinking cardigan, maybe. And then maybe sleeveless or something. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want formal wear, but like turtleneck. I'm probably going to search it up, actually, because I want to see kind of more formal. See what we can find. I'm putting formal turtleneck men. <laughs> Seeing what we can find. Because for the most part... Okay, this is... Hopefully I can... I'll save this. I'll put it into... The video, hopefully. But with the turtleneck... I know Seventeen has a lot of them like this. And I always think they're really cute. Especially they have it during the award ceremonies. Because it's usually happening during like winter and stuff. I never really thought about Akemi's height compared to Masaki's height. He's a little shy about wearing this. Because <laughs> maybe Sato's making a spectacle out of him. <laughs> kind of go like that. We can have... His coat kind of tucked behind where his hand will be. Okay, so the one that I'm looking at does have kind of like this vest. Which is kind of what I was looking for. I did want something a little bit more formal and I always feel like something like a vest or something cinching the waist a bit more. Okay, let's style his hair a little bit differently. Or well, not his hairline. His hairline should be about here, actually. Kind of push it a little bit. Okay, 
A little bit more messier, a little bit kind of just tossed back, or not back to the one side. So this coat vest. Okay, let's get... Is this called a lapel? I keep calling it like something different. I feel like every video that I have to draw one. Put this in. Put the inside seam. And usually for suit pants and stuff, there's usually that one center crease. Kinda like that. Make this a little bit more bulging. Looks like a hand in there. Okay, a little bit more of like formal attire. I do want kind of like cardigan. Maybe like casual, cute date. Super dressed down. <laughs> Gonna make the glasses a little darker. Quick glasses. So I do think he kind of has a slimmer, very more boyish face. thinking do I want it to be just sweater or cardigan because I could change this to be are we caring about hands today not really but I, I'm putting enough effort that I don't I'm not writing hand like I did for some other doodles Sweater, dress shirt underneath. Yeah, he looks a little squat. That's okay. It's still a little cute. This feels like this look, looks more like a grandpa sweater. Or maybe it'll be cuter if it's a a vest. Cause maybe he would wear a vest rather than. Bit. Let's move this down. Or, oh, I was gonna say I could do another, another kind of outfit. We'll see, we'll see. Because <laughs> this might still work. <laughs> it's just his face that won't match. We'll just open, open shirt, but we're not scandalous. Tuck it in. We will tuck in the undershirt, but not the overshirt. Throw his bag into here. Yeah, I feel like he's the type to always wear more of high-waisted pants. Okay, so just maybe thinking if he didn't style his hair, what would it look like? I guess it would look like this, much more round. Yeah, but you guys, maybe I'll let you guys choose what kind of, what would you think he would study in uni? Maybe he'll do design, architecture, business. Can I give him like a watch here? Okay, so now that we have both of the sketches done, or both pages, or pages I guess, uh, I'm gonna try to group these together. I'm gonna try to organize them. 
So I have a new layer underneath each of the sketch layers. So I'm going to group them together like this. It's just much easier. But now that they're grouped, they're treated as kind of like one page. So we're going to go back to this one and do some basic colors. And then we can figure out colors for his outfit. I'm also going to change these to multiply. Bring up the saturation. His torso looks so short. And then we'll move on to the other one. But before we color the clothes, I'm going to do probably the skin, eyes, and hair first. So that we can get the kind of like both of the pages to match. Because I am drawing the same character for each of them. So I would like at least the hair, eye color, and skin tone to match. use more of a peachy tone oops i just hit new page peachy tone to kind of add a little bit of blush and some warmth into his face i don't remember how detailed i made the the coloring though add a little bit of a muted kind of reddish purple just for just a little bit more deeper shadow which isn't necessary but i do like what it looks like for the most part and his eyes are kind of like a yellowy color it's like the contrast between kind of like the eyes and the hair color okay so hair color it's kind of like a grayish teal color And then we'll kind of use a navy color to do the deeper tones of his hair. I also received some oil pastels the other day. So I'm going to see if I can teach myself how to use them so that I can kind of test them out for a video or something. I think it would be fun to play around with. Okay, so let's go to the other page. And we're going to use the color history that we have here to help work on the skin hair and eyes once again this makes it a lot easier fine but i like having specific colors for ocs because sometimes the colors themselves kind of like already represents them got that gold color first So my hair color got overridden, so let's go pick that up really quick. So I did his really simple, kind of just a flat color with a little bit of the skin tone bleeding through. And then I used also the skin tone for his highlights just because I thought the kind of peachy yellow color kind of makes it pop. This one, he looks so round here. I actually really like it because I don't really have an OC that's kind of more roundish. Okay, now we're gonna do highlights. I actually didn't add the kind of purpley red color that I did for the skin tone for fervoring kind of like the shadows. And then the outer shirt, we can pick kind of like that dark navy color. Because like I said, I think his colors are more like gray, navy, orange -ish yellow, I guess. And kind of fits the character's aesthetic. And I usually try to take in consideration like their hair color. Because I know some like dress shirts have the inside a different color too. So I think the white looks kind of cute. It's kind of more skin tight turtleneck. And I don't know if I have it in my brain that underneath it's either sleeveless or do I want it to be like three quarters. Um, I think... Did I add shady, shadows and shading to them? I don't really remember the hair. So let's go ahead and do that first, actually. We'll make them a little bit more purpley. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I feel like so attached to the round, the roundness. But I like making it kind of asymmetrical because I don't want the silhouette to be too plain. But something about this is really cute, I think. So pants. Um, I think I always give him black pants, right? And then his shirt is more of a... Kind of like off-white. Okay, let's add shadows. 
So I'm gonna add some warmer ones first. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna do for the shirt. So yeah, really kind of an orangey color. Like this. But I feel like stripes also help in the cake, kind of like the clothing folds. This way, and then we'll have kind of a cooler gray color. Do a matching stripe. I don't remember if I did. Oh, but I think we're okay. Go like this. And we'll get some darker color into here too. Okay, so yeah, there we go. This is Akimi's kind of normal attire. Oh, I guess we'll make this one more casual though. So maybe we'll use the same navy blue for this. And maybe we'll go a lighter coat color. So it's not too off from his original outfit anyways. It's not too bad. Like I said, I know nothing about fashion and I think my knowledge about color is kind of so bar. So apologies any of these outfits look absolutely atrocious. Does this look off? I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Okay, let's add shadows. So I'm gonna try to neutralize this whatever color I just made. Okay, so formal attire, I feel like he's the opposite. Or we can go with dark gray. Maybe a lighter scarf. And then we're going to use kind of a light gray for his scarf. I feel like he would just have like a neutral color, not knit or anything. It's just a, a simple scarf. Much more simple. So let's go back to this one. I feel like this would also be more of a white. Go with a kind of neutral gray. Not neutral gray, more of a cool gray to muted navy color, I guess. Which means, for me, I usually like giving dark pants. I feel like dark pants is hard to mess up unless your whole outfit is super dark. But either way, I've seen people with like all black outfits, so I feel like it's fine. I don't know if that looks dumb. I just colored like the cups of his sleeves a different color. Okay, so for this, um, if I remember correctly, I think the most inner layer, let's make a little more neutral. Inner layer is kind of a lighter color for the turtleneck. Cause I feel like they should match. But for the sake of trying to separate each of these into layers. Okay. Pants will be the same color as our jacket. So I don't know if the belt should be darker, maybe lighter, I don't know. Trying to make it look like it's cinching his waist just a tad. I do you want to add a little bit of his hair color somewhere to the outfit? Maybe I should have made the buttons those colors. So I feel like anywhere else, it feels a little overwhelming. This looks a little too flashy, so I'll leave it as the black. Okay, so now that these guys are all done, we're going to go into our layers and lock our... S oops. Lock our sketch. So I'm going to alpha lock. And then we can go back and kind of choose some other lines to make a little bit darker so that they don't read too light. Here's a quick thing. So if you have sketch sketch lines like this and you're coloring the line work, you can always just take white uh, and go over the lines. White on a multiply layer kind of just means that it's going to be more transparent. Like white doesn't really show up on um, 
multiply layers usually. So now that we lighten those ones up, let's lighten these ones up. So let's again kind of get an orangey pale color. Oops. Let's lock this first. And then we'll get kind of like a white. Clean up the face a bit. Yeah, I think that's it for Akemi, except for one last thing. So I am going to add a white outline around everything. I'm going to switch brushes. Yeah, we're going to basically add a white outline for all of the doodles. Yeah, I think this just in general makes me a little bit more comfortable drawing him. I do like this outfit. I don't really like how I drew his hair. Maybe also his face in general. Yeah, I think that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me kind of design outfits and figuring out what kind of style I guess Akemi would have. I think his is kind of like semi-formal or like not semi-formal, kind of like formal casual. Casual formal? Formal casual. Um, yeah, a little bit more tighter fit clothing. I think, yeah, I think most of these suit him for the most part. I was gonna try maybe doing suspenders and stuff or like a long pea coat would look really cute too. Let's do a quick time lapse. Let's go back. I think the sketch look cute for the most part. I think the coloring kind of ruins some of them and then some of them look better with the coloring. And on the second page. God, his torso is so tiny. Coloring. Coloring is going to be a mess because I keep switching back and forth. Yeah, but yeah, there is Akemi's kind of redesign of his outfits or potential whatever is in his closet, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!